Over one billion IV devices are placed in hospitalized medical patients every year. This makes it the most commonplace procedure in hospitalized patients. Within that subset are devices called PICK lines. Now, PICK lines are longer IV lines that can stay in place for weeks or months or years. One of the biggest advantages of PICK lines is that they're very convenient to put in. Uh, they're usually done by nurses. They can be done at the patient's bedside. In some situations, they can happen even in an outpatient setting. So patients can come in, get their PICK placed, and go out. Uh, as a result of that, their use in hospitals has gone up dramatically. And with this increasing use, we start to see more complications as well, which is sort of the focus of our work. The easiest way to prevent a complication with a PICK line is not to have one in the first place. And so we've been thinking about how do you create a structure for doctors to be able to make good decisions about what device should go in to which patient. Our goal with creating this document was to create a set of recommendations as to when the use of a PICK is appropriate. That is, when is the risk lesser than the benefit? When is the patient going to do well with this device? And what are the other choices out there for patients to consider? The document then goes through each individual step looking at a different patient profile and allows physicians to make more balanced decisions about what device should be used when, including when a pick is the right choice for the patient. My ultimate hope is that the, the lines that are put into patients, picks or not, are the right line for that patient. Um, I think a lot of patients get lines that they don't need. Uh, some of them get the wrong line when they need a different kind. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of them have complications from these lines. My goal is to make sure that at the end of the day, we do what's best for the patient, that the provider has all the information they need to make a good decision for their patient, and um, the use of these devices is both appropriate and safe with respect to outcomes.